had uh, coming across the border into uh, Texas, that they're intercepting people who speak Afghan uh, languages. So we know that this is happening, and yet they continue to tell us that it isn't happening. Right. They want to focus us on people who are nationalistic, who they identify as far right. And some of these people are far right. Some of these organizations that they have pulled up, just as the Southern Poverty Law Center does, they do pull up some people that are racist, that are Nazis, uh, neo-Nazis. But they also paint with a very broad brush anyone who is concerned about uh, about immigration and open borders, they paint them as xenophobic, as racist, right. as far-right extremists, but they never talk about the Marxists. They never talk about the Islamic extremists. That's the key about all this. Right, and we've already seen Germany and other places shutting down uh, Facebook, working in collusion there with Germany to shut down any dissenting opinion mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm. on, on something like this, which is, of course, you know, the president won't even mention the word uh, radical Islam. That's right. He won't even talk about it. And neither it. will Southern Poverty Law Center. Right. And so what they're doing is they're looking at this as a way to uh, essentially a, a tool of social control. Mm -hmm. When you look at this and they talk about extremism, think of it as criminalizing uh, non-PC speech. Right. Look at it as a way that they can crack down on the internet. They talk about the internet has transformed the way we communicate, but it is it has been a tool of terrorism. This is going to be used against anybody who doesn't toe the political cor correct language. Anybody who uses the internet, they're going to use this to cut down our free speech. And that's what we really need to be worried about, a ground up movement, just like we've seen with Agenda 21, moving city by city to accomplish this. Right, exactly. And that is so important because we do see this pushback against the dissenting opinion. The terrorists are going to be anyone who challenges the state, now challenges yes. the UN's global agenda. Those are the real terrorists. And of course, Alex Jones, Matt Drudge are gonna be the top of that list. Coming up, we're gonna play you some clips where Matt Drudge warns about this very thing, the end of free speech, freedom, the internet, Dunzo. an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. All right, folks, Alex Jones here back live well into the third hour. I did not do this as a stunt. Neither did Matt Drudge. He is here. We got a hot mic over there. He wants to stay literally in the shadows behind a curtain. Uh, but this is the king of being able to push a story out and make it the number one story in the world. They even admit that in the New York Times that he has more readers on politics and news than Facebook, the New York Times, and the Washington Post, L.A. Times put together. He's got some of our stories uh, where the shooter himself said he was on a bunch of drugs. Uh, he's linked to that today. And that's the story they don't want out there, or the story where CNN took a mixed racial Christian hater and turned him into a right-wing white supremacist and turned him white. They don't want people knowing that, but Matt Drudge and his great crew can link to alternative stories, foreign stories, mainstream stories, photos, mug shots, and really just focus on what Matt Drudge thinks is interesting. And the public tends to agree with him that what he focuses in on is really catching the zeitgeist or the pulse of the people. So he might have 50 links every day where Facebook has 500 million, but he has more traffic. That is the true David versus Goliath story. And this is not scripted. I have no idea where I should go. Uh, Matt Drudge, I, I guess you're here for ACL or why are you in Austin, Texas? <laughs> Well, you were just talking about Facebook, and thanks again for having me here. Um, I'm not on Facebook. Um, I don't do the socials. I've got that little Twitter thing. Even that's kind of disgusting. You know, I've been doing the Internet as long as you've been doing this radio show, Alex, literally every day, as you have literally every day, practically. I think you've taken a little more time off than I have, actually. Yes, I've kind of gone. And I can't say that about many people because you are a peer without peer. And I'll tell you... I was there before Facebook. I was there for before CNN.com. I was there before mostly all of them. I have a very clear perception what the Internet is in my mind. I'm free. I'm not defined by what they say the Internet is, uh, meaning Goldman Sachs, meaning who they invest in for the latest startup, meaning the latest BuzzFeed or Salon or Gawker. All, well, Gawker's more independent, but there's a lot of corporate makeover of the internet that I have not adapted to. Simply put, uh, I'm friends with some of them. When I go to New York, I make the Sixth Avenue rounds, but I am not a part of that system. I am a free thinker. I'm an American. I'm very concerned with what's happening. So I just give it my all. I've learned how to take care of myself and detach from outcomes. Because otherwise, you can't survive. And I don't know where you are on that topic. That's I just follow my instinct because they always tell us how to adapt to be successful. But really, we're just adapting to their mindset to I be don't. their slaves. I don't. No, you don't. I have remained completely independent from all of them. All of them. I am not influenced by any of them. I need no traffic from Google. I don't care if I get one traffic refer referral from Google or Bing or Yahoo or any of these others. It's always been that way. Now, if you think of that 
setup, how rare that is, because everybody's so hungry for referrals, for likes. I don't need to be liked. I don't need to be liked at all. I don't care if there's a button right there at the top of Drudge saying like or dislike. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't mean anything. Now, I hope that you come. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to like what I have up there. Now, where I've had a lot of success is I'm getting people from both sides of the aisle. They've always said, always oh, a right-wing gossip monger, mainly because of Lewinsky in those years, which, by the way, are back. Why aren't we seeing Hillary's lovers? Excuse me. Why aren't we seeing Hillary's lovers? It's a good question. Where's the cover-up on this? So many issues that are suppressed on a daily basis. So that's what I try to do every morning. Incredible. Well, it's amazing to have you here in Austin, Texas, and... I tell you, you certainly know how to make an entrance. I'm in a 70-second break, and I turn around, and there's Matt Drudge, just boom. <laughs> I tell you, I almost had a heart attack, a good one. <laughs> My cousin said he's never seen me look like that. Uh, what was the word, Buckley, you used? No, no, it's flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. You used the word flabbergasted. Well, I, I tell you, this is like the biggest Christmas present early ever because I just admire true independence, and I got to tell you, Matt, and you know this with your crew, and Congress knows this, we wouldn't have won some of these gun battles, some of these uh, border battles, some of these energy battles, and we've lost some too, but we would have lost so many of them if it wasn't for the focal point. And even the White House and the Democrats admit, because I know you're saying you're nonpartisan, I mean, I would guess you're more of a libertarian, correct me if I'm wrong, you're just a freedom guy. I can't be controlled. I cannot be controlled. There are no interests here but what I see as the world events, period. That is the truth of the situation. Well, they hate the fact that they can't control the agenda. The Pentagon has briefings with the head of PSYOPs, as you know, saying we've got to stop Drudge changing the subject and showing when we're lying. I mean, that's when you know. That's, I mean, that's crazy town when you get, what is it like? Is it surreal to think back to something you started back in the early 90s has now grown into this? Well, no, because it's been every day. So it's just like it's, it's happened so organically. It started with one reader. I don't know who that one reader was, but it started with one reader. I've never placed an ad anywhere, ever. This has all been a true organic reader to reader to reader to reader. Yes, I dabbled in the corporate with the Fox News show and the Clear Channel, sh uh, Clear Channel radio show for nine years. But even that, the website was on its own terms and remain so to this very minute. Well, you've only gotten bigger since uh, you stopped. Uh, well, I don't know, because this is another thing. W w the measurements that we have, this is another bogus thing. Yesterday they released on the APA wire, Twitter followers. Hillary is the queen of the Twitters with 4.9 million. They don't say how many are fake. They don't how say how many are They droid. admit the first ladies is like 80% fake. Well, no, the AP did not do that, Alex. So this whole thing, this whole socials, these socials, you know, Beats One Music, which I'm obsessed with, which has been launched on Apple, uh, which is probably one of the best things they've done since Steve Jobs died. One radio station. Interesting. They don't know how many listeners they have. I heard some streams, they were down to 5,000 an hour. This whole social media stuff is bogus. Facebook, uh, we have 2 billion users. This is garbage. This is designed to demoralize the individual. I'll never have 2 billion followers. The internet is what you make of it. It's the same battle as it was in the beginning. I remember having this argument with Britt Hume once live on C-SPAN. He goes, oh, the internet's all UFOs and uh, all this crap. And I said, no, the internet is what you make of it. In the beginning, they were dismissing the internet. They were poo-pooing it. And isn't that good for us that, 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 that for so long they were in arrogant denial? And they seem like they still kind of are in arrogant denial. No, on, on now MSNBC. they make it over in their image. Now it's these endless, monotonous tweets. Meaningless. Meaningless. Uh, to me, it's a, just a lot of gnats, a lot of confusion. When th the reality of the situation is life on Earth has not changed. We need facts. We need events. We need specifics on things. Not all this confusion. It's almost they've made the Internet over in their image these corporations, and I think they're failing, quite Skip frankly. the break. Skip the break. Oh, sorry, Matt, go ahead. Uh, I had to interrupt. You say you think they're failing? I think they're failing to the point, this is a whole nother discussion on how sick are the American people right now. I've been saying they could put Hillary Clinton's brain in a jar in the Oval Office and she'd be elected. People are really sick. 
I think you know this deep in your soul, and this is why you get demoralized here on this very set. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah. People are sick. How they've got here, you've been done a wonderful